most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to go over five simple tricks, Brad, for hand pain or finger pain. These work out well for arthritis or if you have a jammed finger or if you just have hand pain overall. That's unexplained. These are good for that. Well, I actually smashed my finger while I was doing a project with a 12 point sledgehammer a few weeks ago. Self-inflicted. Yeah, it was a, yeah. It's what applies to this. So we'll try it on yours today, Brad, okay. and we'll see if we have any luck mm. with it. Uh, if you are new to our channel, by the way, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free. We upload every day. Also, you're going to want to join us on our social media channels. Oh, he's going to help us out, Sam. No, nope, huh? he can't. He can't. His hand's backwards. Okay, all right. Okay, Instagram, Facebook. Definitely on Facebook, you want to join us. Go, uh, and Bob and Brad, because right now we are giving a, doing a giveaway. We're going to be doing giveaways all year, but right now we're doing a giveaway of the Sleep Ovation mattress. Again, uh, these are great mattresses, and we're giving one away. Yeah, these, so, are, these are top end. Yeah, yep. and they're, if you're having trouble with uh, comfort as far as like back pain or neck pain or right, shoulder or hip right. pain, that's your baby. All right, let's talk about this first, Brad. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're getting full range of motion in all the joints. Sure. Uh, especially a painful joint after a while it tends to tighten up. And the more joint tightens up, the more painful it becomes. Right. So it's kind of a bad cycle. You want to regain the motion, and a lot of times the pain levels go down. Sure. So what I'm going to do is we're going to show you the motions to do. And if you find out a particular joint that bothers you while you're doing the motions, we got some tricks for those that we're going to show you in the next three steps. Sure. So try these, note which ones hurt, and then we're going to try these little tricks on those sure. after we do those. So let's start off with number one, basically finger taps. So you're taking the thumb and you're going to tap it to each finger. So like this, and you're going to open wide open after you do it. So we're making circles and yep. then open up wide. Good, and you can go reverse it, come right back down the line. Just a good warm-up one, good stretch. Okay, next one, Brad, we're going to go ahead, and we're gonna, this one's just working kind of the base of the thumb. So you're going to take, and this is a problematic area, by the way, a lot of times in arthritis. You're going to take the thumb, and you're going to attach a, and touch over to the base of the fifth. Can you get there? No, I'm not. Nope, I cannot get that far, Bob. Yep, this is a stretch Brad should be doing. Oh, yeah. Can you go to the base of this second finger oh, right there? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I can even do the Spock thing. There we go, yeah. yep. <laughs> you can throw that one in there. That's the bonus one. So as you can see, right here, Brad's just demonstrating on film. It can be tight on people, and yep. that's so something gonna you need to work on. Give it a little stretch. Yep. Next one, we're going to go ahead and do tabletop. Oh, yeah. All right. You have a little trouble on that one too, Brad. And then you can actually go from this one up to the claw if you want to do. You can throw two in a, in a row right here. Well, you Table know, Bob, I, I'm sure claw. I have some early stage arthritis because my hands get real stiff in the morning, particularly my right hand. Um, and I, and I, so I do these in the morning to get warmed up. Not, some something anyway. You do some range of motion, right? Yeah. Right. Now I don't do the table. Well, we'll go on because yeah. these are good. I just have some options. You know, therapists make up their own stuff. Sure. <laughs> and then you're gonna go ahead and do full flexion. This is where you're, you know, you're flexing fully, flexing all the joints, getting them all going. Okay. So let's say in the instance you found one of your fingers bothered you. Let's say it's this joint here. I'm going to show it on the spine here first, on, on Sam the skeleton. So let's say we're looking at this joint right here. So you have a bone above it, above it, and below it. And that forms the joint right there. So the technique you're going to try, it's a little, it's a little tricky. You're going to push one of the bones this way, and you're going to push one of the bones this way. This is, you know, a little advanced for the lay person, I think. But, you know, we can give it a try. I think they can do it. Okay. I think they can let's do give it. it. Let's, let so let's, let's, I'm a, let's say it's my joint right here. I shouldn't use the middle finger, should I? <laughs> you can use. That would be the third digit. Bob. All right. Well, fourth, actually, in our lingo. So I'm pushing with my thumb. I'm pushing the bone this way. And with my finger, I'm pushing it this way. So I'm going opposite directions. I'm pushing them. And as I push them, I'm going to bend the finger. Now, if that hurts or hurts worse, then you do the opposite. You're going to put your finger on top right here, 
and blow here, and now I'm going to push this way, and I'm going to go that way. Go, oh, that feels better. So which finger are you having trouble, Brad? Well, you can see the one that's got the scars oh, yeah. is still healing. So do you have trouble bending that one or not? It's getting much better, but I, I have... So you don't have pain when you're doing it? Well, if I last week, this would have been a problem. Did you try this now? No, I didn't. I just, I, what I, I just, I worked the, similar to the claw, and I'd use my other hand just to, to give it a little stretch. Yeah, because there. it really wasn't in the joint so much as when it, it kind of smushed the bone, and I think the yeah, tendon and the ligament there. Where it was involved. So I, it wasn't so much a joint itself. It was a soft tissue between. I had to get it stretched out because it was starting to tighten. Gotcha. So anyway, you, you know, you can have somebody help you with this. You know, somebody could actually push the bones for you. But uh, again, I, it works out. I've done this before on jam fingers for me. I pushed one this way and one this way. It didn't work. I, I reverse it and try it. And, you know, one of them feels good, generally always for me. If it doesn't, if it hurts both ways, just stop you doing it. You don't do it. Right. Yep. The next thing you could try is a simple one. You can try a little bit of traction. Yep. Just do a little traction and even bend it while you're doing a little traction. Sure. How's that feel on you, Brad? Yeah, I like the detraction one. You know, actually, and if you're relaxed, you know, I can actually feel uh, my first MTP separate a little bit. Sure. It's uh, completely pain-free and, yeah. it, you know, actually feels kind of good. And then the last thing you could try is actually you could what we call block the joint. So let's say I'm, I'm working on this joint right here. I can put my thumb right below it, ah. and I can block the movement from there. And so I'm working just right on that joint per se and see if you can get that loose. Mm. Now let's say I want to work on this joint below. I'm going to go ahead and just go right. I'm blocking right below. I'm squeezing on both sides. I, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm holding the bone below on both sides. I've done this with a lot of patients after hand surgery or an injury, and then I'll have them do it at home. Yeah. You know, I'll have them work individual joint all the way down, you know, yeah. to, the, to the big knuckle. And if these are all still hurting quite a bit when you do these, I would recommend you maybe try some modalities. I'm going to show you one that you'd have to purchase, actually, and then we're going to show you one you can do at home without having to purchase anything. We like the Thermatex. Uh, this is infrared heat. The reason we like it is because normal heat only penetrates a few uh, millimeters? Millimeters, well, yeah. I didn't even look at Do I have my... No, I looked for it before, Bob. Basically skin deep. It's not yeah. going to get into the joint deep where uh, infrared is going to do a nice well, job Infrared will actually penetrate 2.36 inches. And if you make it into a muff here, basically, it's actually going to go 4.72 inches, which in other words, it's going to go all the way through the finger joints. Right. And, and so... You know, in addition to using this for anything else, like you might have back pain or knee pain or hip pain. Right. It, and we, Brad and I use it nightly on our, on our backs. Um, it, it serves really well that you can just sit and watch TV and stick your hands in there mm -hmm. and, and kind of give yourself a treatment and heat the, the whole joint up. And then after that, or even while it's in there, you could try to do some motion or immediately after try to go ahead and get right. some motion yep. in it. So the next thing is, uh, if you don't, have, you don't want to spend the money right now, you, know, you can try contrast baths. So contrast baths, meaning uh, you're going to uh, use it for, you, you got, you're going to have two tubs. Basically, you can have two sinks and two tubs. Right. You're going to fill one with basically water that is as about as warm as you can tolerate. Right. Generally from like 100 to 110 degrees. Yeah, you it, can determine what it is your It shouldn't tolerance. be so uncomfortable. It makes you want to pull out. And, right. It's, you know. it's all as tolerated without pain. Right. The, and then you have another tub with cold water. Right. And that should be as cold as you can tolerate without pain. So 59 to 70 degrees, somewhere in there. So, you know, when, when you're heating up a joint... You're going to get increased oxygen and circulation and nutrients going into the joint. Sure. And then when it cold, when it gets goes to the cold, it's going to close the blood vessels, remove fluid and toxins and the waste and all that. So it's it's kind of exercising the blood vessels. Right. The things expand, things can contract. Uh, you got movement of the blood flow and lymph, whatnot. Uh, so you, it's what we need. For yeah. And and what's nice, you can do your exercises. So you have the two tubs of water. You put your hand in the warm water first, your hands in the warm water. I've seen anywhere from up to five minutes, but generally I recommend like three to four sure. minutes. Three to four minutes, then and work your hands, and then go into the cold for just one minute. So it's a yeah, it's not the same. It's not the same ratio. Right. Back three to four, back to one. Do this for like twenty to thirty minutes. You're doing do your exercise in the water. Just it it, it works out as a great 
Uh, what was that beeping noise? Don't worry about that beeping, Bob. <laughs> uh, it just works as a great exercise to try to help loosen up the joint, get more blood flow to it. You know, arthritis, uh, arthritic people really like the, the, the feel of it, right. generally. Bob, before we go any farther, I know almost 100% certain we're going to have people ask, Bob, what's going on with your finger? Oh, I have Dupertrons contraction. Yeah, we have a lot of comments that yeah. people are asking about that. So we did a video on that particular diagnosis. Uh, so <laughs> if you happen to have that, you can look at our video. So you, you know what's hilarious about this? I swear to God, I had this for 10 years, and my wife did not know. <laughs> she did not know. Wow. Until I pointed it out to her. That's, so, a, that's amazing, That Bob. is amazing she's, to me. She's not attentive to your hand. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> so... But it, it doesn't wow. bother me. No. You know, so, I mean, I can golf and all that. So that's why. I, the reason I don't get it corrected because if you do like an injection, it, it, it'll work. Yeah. Uh, there's an injection you can do in a surgery, but it could come right back. Sure. So I'm like, ah. It's not getting in the way. His yeah. wife doesn't notice it. My What's wife doesn't notice it. You know, people around me didn't notice it for years. People on, the people <laughs> on YouTube. YouTube. No, no, people on YouTube care about me. Yeah, they're so. very astute out there. I'm telling you. We got high-level people That's watching That's right. This. We got a lot of intelligence out That's there. Right. So Thank thanks you. for watching.